Hello, everybody. My name is Rick McCutcheon. I'm a Dynamics 365 MVP. And today on Partner Talks, I have a special guest from Microsoft and Krupke. And introduce yourself and tell the people exactly what you do. Hi, I'm Ann Krupke. I'm a senior fast track solution architect at Microsoft. The fast track program is a customer success program for Dynamics 365 FNO and CE. Uh, implementations to work with our customers, making sure they're going live successfully uh, on our products. So that's that's what I do. Okay, perfect. And uh, I'm sure you do a great job, but today we're going to talk about uh, community. And last week we were both in Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, this is going to air next week. So we could say two weeks ago, we were in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Doug Dynamics Con live event. And let's talk a little bit about your involvement in community. Sure. I I have been a member of the community ever since I started in Dynamics. And um, in particular with Dynamics User Group, I am the co-leader for the Atlanta User Group Meetup. I am also a former and current speaker at Dynamics Con Live. Um, and I think we're going to talk about this in a minute, but I did the keynote this year for Microsoft, which is a really exciting thing. Um, and I've been a participant and supporter of Dynamics Con Virtual as well. Great. And so let's talk a little bit about who makes up our community yeah. and, you know, why it's important to you and why it's important to Microsoft. So, I mean, for me, a community is anybody who is passionate about Dynamics 365 or is forced to interact with it. We'll, we'll include the people who aren't as okay. passionate, but we like the people who, who are excited about it. It could be people who want to learn about dynamics and get into the industry, people who use the products in their daily lives, partners who implement Dynamics 365, ISVs, and of course, Microsoft. So I really think the community is anybody who has anything to do with dynamics or wants something to do with it. Yeah. And one thing that, you know, both of us have been involved with the community for some time, the next thing you know, you know, you get involved and you've got friends from all over the world, yes. right? Who yeah. are part of the community, whether they're in, Amsterdam, whether they're in New York, whether they're in uh, Sydney, right? All of a sudden, we've gone to a conference, we, we're speaking with them, we're doing online events, and we become part of a real global phenomenon. Yeah, it's amazing the relationships that you can build and just this, this network of people. I think the thing I love the most about this community in particular is how everybody knows something that I don't know, right? Everybody knows something different and they're all just there to to learn and to share what they do know. So um, I've met so many wonderful friends at conferences and through events um, like Dynamics Con Live. And um, it's awesome to have that network that you can just reach out and say, hey, do you know anything about this? I'm stuck, I need help. Or um, do you have any you know, information on something? So it's, it's such an amazing tool to connect with people all over the world, especially... Um, you know, since COVID happened, we've been forced a lot more virtual and being able to build real relationships virtually was was a challenge, but I think we really did it, which is amazing. And now we're back to live events. So let's talk about yeah. last week in Scottsdale and what happened in Scottsdale. That was, first of all, a blast. I had a wonderful time getting to see everybody. It was a jam-packed week. Um, and in terms of kind of what I did and, and the other Microsoft folks who came with me, we had a couple of roundtable panel sessions. Nicole Gump and I did two sessions in the finance and operations track on what's new in supply chain and what's going on in asset management. Um, we also sat in on the Ask the Experts booth for a few hours on Wednesday, and I gave the Microsoft keynote on Wednesday to the whole the whole group, which was really cool. And let's talk a little bit about your keynote. What was your message to the audience? It was kind of three things. So first, what are we doing, right? What's, what is Microsoft building? And we talked a lot about Copilot and AI because that's huge right now. And then of course, that's not the only thing we're working on these days. And I wanted to make sure people knew how to find the resources that'll tell them about all the stuff we're doing because it really is a lot. So we talked about the release planner and did a, a short demo there. And then we talked about how important community is to Microsoft. And that was really fun for me because I am so involved in community to get up there and say, not just me, but Microsoft, we care about this community where we are active members in the meetup groups. We come to conferences. We um, 
we're helping run the or we're, we're supporting the running of the, the Doug regional meetups that are coming in the next couple of months. And really, we, we have all these tools out there and we just want to be a part of the community and, and support the community any way we can. So um, that was the second message. And then we just wrapped it up with some of the work we've been doing at Fast Track, which has been kind of near and dear to me in the past few months. Okay, great. So you run a local group uh, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. What have you got going for your group for the rest of the year? So we've got our next meeting coming up on June 22nd. I think we're actually going to have Bobby Smalls flying in because we wanted to see what it is we're doing in Atlanta. So we're going to have him be our guest speaker. And we have a local speaker as well for one of our users who comes to the event. Um, and that's one of the things we've really focused on, at least in the Atlanta group, is that we always have a user come speak. Even if we have a partner or Microsoft speaking, we also make sure we have a slot for a user to come in um, so that they're making it as much their own as it is there for us. Um, that's the, It's the only specific date we have planned, but we are <clears throat> very interested in having a Southeast region meetup kind of in line with the other meetups Doug is doing. And I already kind of talked to Liz about it and the North Carolina and Tampa user group leaders are are interested as well. So I'm hoping what we'll see is an opportunity for a regional event full day um, where we can get a lot more of the local group together. Because Atlanta's had a, a user group for a very long time where it's had a local user community for a very long time. And um, at least more five years ago or more, it kind of fell apart and now we're piecing it back together and it's coming back really strong and it's been really fun to be a part of it. Hey, thank you, Anne. I'm going to post um, in the show notes how uh, the viewers can find their local community. And um, this is a global organization, Doug. And if there's no community in your area, we can absolutely help you find out how to start one. Absolutely. And if you have questions about it, just reach out to me. I'm pretty good at answering messages. And I'm always happy to talk about how easy it is to participate in your local user group or even run one if you're interested. Perfect. Okay, Ann, thanks for your time. And I'm sure I'm going to be back to you at some point to talk more about building community. Thanks, Rick. Bye for now.